Action for one. Exponents. Exponents. Objective to write and simplify expressions involving exponents. Let's talk about exponents here. 5 times 5, we know that's 25. It can also be written as 5 squared, which can be read as 5 to the second power, 5 to the power of 2, 5 squared, or the square of 5. This is 5 to the third power, which is 5 times 5 times 5, or 125. It's also known as 5 to the third power, 5 cubed, or it can also be written as, I'm sure this is going, um, yep. And this is 5 cubed, or 5 to the third power. This is 5 to the fourth power, which is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is 625, which is known as 5 to the fourth power. Interesting, this could also, we know 5 times 5 is 25. This is 25 squared. This could also be written as 25 squared. Ooh, interesting. So let's talk about these. You know, so this little exponent here is telling you, hey, multiply this guy by itself three times. In the expression 5 cubed, we have an exponent, which is this 3. We have a base, which is the 5. What you're raising is the base. We're raising the base to the third power. This whole thing all together is called, an expon it's called exponential form. The exponent tells you the number of times the base is used as a factor. So here you're using the base 5, you're using 5 as a factor three times. 5 times 5 times 5 to get this number, okay, which is 125. So here's a connection. 5 to the third, I want you to remember this. This is repeated multiplication. Exponents tell you to repeat multiplication. 5 times 5 times 5. Remember what multiplication is. Do you remember? 3 times 5 is 5 plus 5 plus 5. So we get this confused. This is a, this is a big point here. Remember, we're gonna, you're going to see this. You get, you're going to have trouble with this. That this x to the third versus 3x. 3x is just x plus x plus x, whereas x to the third is x times x times x. Big difference between exponents um, and, and the coefficient. All right? I'm going to keep moving. Here we go. Also, we're going to rewrite these guys here in exponential form. Well, it's pretty simple. I can rewrite 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, since there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. I can rewrite this as 3 to the fifth power. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So a better way to write this is x to the fifth power. Look at it. it. It keeps me from writing x times x times x times x times x over again. It's all condensed. Just like when you see, you know, if, if you saw 4 plus 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 4 so many times, you'd write 4 times 15. You wouldn't write 4 plus itself 15 times. Same thing with, ex, well, with multiplication. We use exponents. Now here's a little tricky one. 2 times y times 3 times y times y times y. We can rewrite this as 2 times 3 times y times y times y times y because we know that multiplication is commutative. 2 times 3 is 6. y, 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 y is just y to the fourth power. Watch out. Look at this sign. It's a scary sign. It's telling you to watch out. Make sure you watch out. Um, x times x times x times x times x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is x to the fifth power. x plus x plus x plus x plus x is 5 times x, or 5x, okay? Notice the difference. This is very important, okay? Be careful. This is what's going to come up over and over again. Now, we can think about multiplication um, in area. So, let's quickly connect. What is area? Remember what area is. Area, I like to call it square area. What you're doing is simply counting the squares. If I want to find the area of this rectangle, and it's 4 this way and 7 this way, I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4 rows of 7. So I multiply 4 times 7, and I get my 28. Now, I can look at it another way. I can look at it as I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 stacks of 4. So 28. And if this was feet, and this was feet, I'd say... 4 feet times 7 feet is 28 square feet. Where does that come from? Well, let's see. 4x times 7x. 4 times 7 is 28. x times x is x squared. Just like 4 feet times 7 feet. 4 times 7 is 28. Feet times feet is feet squared. See? So when we do area, think square area. Why do we multiply when we find the area? Because, that's, well, because we're finding... Four rows of seven, or seven stacks of four. We're, we're adding four plus four plus four plus four plus four seven times. Now here it gets kind of weird because I don't know what x is. 
But I know when you multiply the lengths times the width to find the area of the, of the, re the rectangle, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to do 3x times x. So the area is going to be 3x times x or 3x squared. Here I'm going to do 2x times 8x. 2x times 8x is 16x times x is x squared. Now if they wanted to find the perimeter, that's a different story. Then I want to find the distance around. So I'd have to walk 8x plus 2 more x's plus 8 more x's plus 2 more x's. Altogether, that would be 20 x's. Okay? But that's not what I'm asking here. What's the area? This times this. 2 times 8 is 16 x times x. All right? Here we go. Beware where your parentheses are, what the exponents attach to, right? This is simply 2x to the third. This is 2 times x times x times x. So we know that this is 2x to the third. We know the value of this. But watch out here. This is different than this. This is 2x to the third power. This is 2x. Because this, this guy right here, this exponent is attached to the parentheses. It's saying what's in the parentheses times itself three times. So we get 2x, 2x. This ends up being 8x to the third. This is negative x cubed, can be thought of as negative 1 times x times x times x, which is negative x cubed. But this here, the 3 now, this 3 was only attached to the x, not the negative, just the x. This 3 is attached to the parentheses. So it's everything in the parentheses 3 times. And because there's 3 of them, x times x times x, we get x cubed. Negative times a negative is a positive times a negative, and it ends up being the same thing. But you'll notice when we get to the square, it ends up changing a little bit. Now, negative 4 squared is negative 1 times 4 times 4, which is 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. But notice here, this is parentheses times parentheses. It's negative 4 times negative 4. This is positive 16. Here we have negative. This 2 is attached to the parentheses, so it's a negative on the outside. We have these double parentheses again. We have 4 times 4, and again we have negative 16. And here we're going to square this first inside and have negative 16. Okay? So beware where it is. Here we go. Another thing, parentheses make a big difference here. This is negative 3 times x times y times y. Okay, negative 3xy squared. This here is negative 3xy, the whole thing squared. So it's parentheses. This is negative 3xy times negative 3xy. This becomes positive 9x squared, y squared, x times x, y times y. You can rearrange this. When you rearrange, you could do 3 3, x, x, y, y, if you want to. Now, this is negative 3 times this thing squared. What squared the parentheses? It's negative 3, x, y, x, y. This is different, which is the same thing as negative 3 times x times y times x times y. Same thing as negative 3 times x times x times y times y, which is negative 3, x squared, y squared. Okay? So, this is where we have to watch out. This does get tricky, so let's do a couple, true or false. Let's make sure I have time. Yes, I just have enough time. True or false, is 3 plus 2 squared equals two, uh, 3 squared plus 2 squared? Um, a lot of people think, yeah, that's true. Well, let's see. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 squared is 25. Let's see what we get over here. 3 squared is 9, plus 4 is 15. Is 15 equal to 25? No, this is false. False. So when you see x plus y squared, you can't just square the x and square the y. It doesn't work with 3 and 2. It's not going to work for an unknown. This is also false. When you see this squared, this means x plus y, this 2 is attached to the parentheses, times x plus y. And what you have to do here is first distribute the x through, then distribute the y through. We haven't got to that yet, so don't do this. Don't get suckered in. Now, are these the same thing? No. Why? What is this? This is the same thing as negative 1 times 5 squared, which is negative 1 times 25, which is negative 25. What's this saying here? Negative 5. This squared is to the negative 5. This is attached to the parentheses, so the parentheses times itself. This is positive 25. Notice the difference, and it's a big difference, so beware. Good luck.